Hi, Brett. Hello. What are you doing? Uh, well, I'm getting ready to go uh, do some work on some things, some odd jobs that I got to do. Okay. Uh, several different nearly impossible situations. Yeah. Um, that, you know, <laughs> and if I get them done, I get paid money for it so I can pay for food. Wow. Yeah. That make, that all makes perfect sense to me. The impossible <laughs> part is, is kind of the part that makes me nervous, but yeah, um, that's, that's, that's not, where people, that's, that's when people uh, will pay you money to do things. Is if that's it's right. That kind of, yeah. What a business model you got there. <laughs> Brett Netson's yeah. The Impossible. Well, Just ask. Situations. Yeah. Uh, where Where are you? Are you in Bo Are you in Boise? Yes, Boise. Yep. 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 What's What's the haps in Boise? I haven't been in a. I think it's been a couple years for me. I haven't jumped in that river or gone in yeah. the house or. When do you think was the last time you were here? I think it was two years ago. I don't, I don't oh, really? know. That's such a fucking boring answer, but uh -huh. the pandemic messed up my memory of it. But I think I've oh, yeah. well, since. Since? Well, yeah. I, I always do the thing where, well, I'm not doing it so much, but for a long time I was uh, 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 saying, oh, yeah, you know, a couple of years ago. And then you have to add three years. Right. Plus, right. plus pandemic where everything was yeah. old. So I don't think it was Mental. five years. I think I've been there. You know, I think it's been, it was summertime. Well, I saw some naked people at the river. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, uh, Boise is pretty much the same. It's just the, like most places sort of becoming a California tech bro colony. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, like most uh, larger cities are, but somehow we get, we get the, some of the <laughs> large city developments, um, especially pandemic era people had romantic notions about uh you know living the lifestyle yeah um so it's it's still it's okay it's okay still uh, a lot of people are having a hard time affording living mm -hmm. here cuz uh everything's doubled and yeah. the wages have stayed the same well that makes sense <laughs> doesn't it what a yeah. yeah that's right <laughs> I mean, maybe they've gone up a tiny bit, you know. Yeah. Uh, the Great Resignation. Do you know about this? No, I want to know what this is all about. Well, you know, remember when everybody was a uh, uh, pandemic Oh, yes, stuff? I know. What, yes, yes. Yeah, people got federal funds. It's like, hey, wow, this is crazy what, when I can uh, pay for everything I need to do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, hey, you know what? I quit. <laughs> Anyways. So then, yeah. you know, people got surly. So uh, this is just my my impression. Yeah. Um, so you know, uh, the market forces probably had some kind of a meeting. <laughs> mm, <laughs> I said, yeah. let's just raise the price of everything. If those people are going to get going to get surly or uppity, 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 yeah. Yeah, got uppity. So, anyways, that's happening everywhere, and it's happening here, particularly. Yeah. Particularly. Anyways, uh, but it's what? still, still okay, you know. Yeah. You know, I want I I, for, I like talking about the Great Resignation actually because yeah, yeah. I. I don't care what this makes me look like. I don't care. Okay. I don't understand the Great Resignation, and I've thought about it enough to be like. Maybe you're barely making ends meet, or, or you've got half a million dollars in the bank. Uh -huh. I still don't understand how the fuck you'd just be like, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm done, working. Well, you just decide you're gonna do something else. Because I, with the, with all of that business, I was in the restaurant business. I wasn't working as a restaurant, restaurant, <laughs> restaurant <laughs> person. I was doing uh, building and maintenance and construction and all this kind right. of stuff. And uh. I got that job because I figured it would be the most stable thing I could possibly do. Sure. <laughs> Cause like it's a bar, mostly a bar and a restaurant and it's like, yeah, bars are recession proof. I'll do this. Sure. And then it turns out like, yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Nope. That ended up being the most dangerous place you could be. And not only that, but you became an essential worker. Look at you. You're an essential worker. Bless you. <laughs> But uh, but the company I was working for couldn't have paid couldn't afford to pay me any more money for 
working in a dangerous situation, you know, all that stuff. I just like, yeah. I, I was like, wow, I'm done with the restaurant business forever. Never right. again. And that's it. That's what it comes down to. I knew a lot of people that were cooks, you know, people in restaurant business in particular, it's a hard, crazy, horrible business to be in. And people just do it because they just, that's, they just got maybe lazy and just didn't try to do something else. Right. Yeah. So I think people got a little motivated to do something else to maybe like, maybe take a chance. Yeah. Do something. Yeah. I can't. What if all of a sudden you, do you? Well, I take this back. Well, we're, I'm trying to go, trying not to go on a tangent, but I'm, I'm tailated, yeah. so I'm going to yeah, go on yeah. a tangent. Okay. Uh, and knowing you, uh, I know you pretty well. Um, mm -hmm. We've been a, in uh, maybe just, I guess, just one band together, and friends for a long time, yeah. probably close yeah. to twenty years. But oh god! Yeah. Now that we're on the subject, I would like to ask you. This isn't the surprise question either. Okay. <laughs> All right. Would you would you ever find yourself before you die not wanting to work? Like you're just sit that, sit around and be like I'm retired. No, no, okay. not at all. And that's okay. kind of well that's part of what I was getting at is that I can only speak for me personally cuz I'm like I'm going back. I cuz there were times most of the time in my life I was uh, self-employed hustling up odd jobs yeah. and just getting by doing stuff just do stuff that's all i want to do is do stuff and yeah. uh uh get paid if possible you know yeah and uh as close to doing stuff that i totally am interested in love doing you know as possible and get paid for that yeah that's just it that's just and yeah. i realize i just that's so that's what the whole situation that, that i was just Right. I, I, I needlessly went through that whole thing about, <laughs> about the pandemic and the great re resignation. Uh, not necessary, but anyways, that's how I could yeah. wrap it up. Just saying that. Uh, yeah. Dead end jobs, you know, dead end jobs making money for someone else, basically. Sure. You know, as people are tired of it, and, you know, and people don't want it. Like, if, like the, the whole essential worker thing was so fucking insulting. Mm -hmm. And that was just disgusting. Like I going down to the, all we got for groceries is uh, the Fred Meyer. I hate to say, give them, you know, even say their name. Uh, so that, so you, you go there and it's like, these poor fuckers are still getting paid the same shitty money. And they, you know, essential, and we call them essential work. That's like the most condescending bunch of bullshit I've ever right. experienced. And now, you know, and then they go, people don't know, people don't want to work. Nobody wants to work. And then, <laughs> yeah, well, no, they don't want to work for you. Right. That's it. <laughs> they don't all be essential workers. <sighs> you know, fuck all yeah. that shit. Anyways. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm back to like just hustling, you know, doing whatever the fuck I can to, to do it and it's it's cool it's it's so it's not depressing because i tried to uh uh i kind of quit gave up on music professional being a professional musician mm -hmm. uh it was kind of got dis disillusioned yeah um and just like not interested anymore right and so i was like i was like really i was gonna i'm gonna get a regular mr rogers kind of job and I did. I'm a maintenance guy at a restaurant, and it's, it's really cute for a long time. <laughs> and but then, and then uh, you know, and then you realize like, oh, this is a dead end. They're yeah. they're just not going to pay me anymore. Right. And I'm Very not gonna. Much. Nothing's gonna happen. Right. So I was like, fuck this. I don't know what uh, if that matters. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm ready. I got a. <laughs> Here's the surprise question. We could you. cut all that. Jesus Christ. What didn't no. you want to talk about? Are we no, talking about music? What are we that. talking about? Talking what about are you music. doing, Joe? <laughs> we're not talking about me. We're talking about everything but me. Um, oh. Okay. Here, all right. Well, I've got a surprise question here for okay. you. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's change the down? subject. Yes. Are you sit you're sitting down, right? All I'm right. lounging comfortably. Get ready. Yes. Yes. We as I said a, a few minutes ago, we've been in a band together. We know each other pretty well. And we've been we've been in a van together. We've been in a van together, even and, more so than a band. We've been in a van for a month yes. or two at a time. Yeah, 
and I, I speculate, I, or I, I think the reason uh, that I haven't asked you these two questions is because when you're in a band or a van together, you're just both a deal or, you know, you're just dealing with what's in front of you. You're living in a moment, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like uh, yeah. either it's the freeway in front of you or the audience in front of you or the f next meal. And yeah. uh, so I don't know where the fuck you grew up. Where did you grow up? Oh, I have oh, no here. idea. Oh, here really? Boise, all Boise. Yeah, no, I've been all my entire life. Yeah. You have. Except I did seven years in Los Angeles and about three years in Seattle. Right. But other than that, yeah, Boise. I've, uh, okay. you know, less than a mile, the hospital I was born. At. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Downtown. And it was what great. Was, I, and yeah. being older, I, I look back and I appreciate it. And I think fantastic. Boy, boy, that was, that was a right. wild, fun time. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, I just had no idea. I really was like, I might, it might be Boise, but I don't know. It could be fucking uh -huh. Rochester, New York. And I, <laughs> yeah. I, I think I would have known that, but, um, yeah. anyways, um, uh, okay. So here's the other question. Yeah. When, um, <clears throat> what was your sort of musical education or interest in either playing guitar or just, or just music as a, as a youngster? Mm. And, and that, that doesn't mean ed, ed, when I say education, that that includes, going to shows at a 14 at 14 years old or uh you know taking guitar lessons you mean what what's the first thing i remember just how did you get in, interested in music either playing or or listening uh to me i don't you know i don't remember it happening ever it was just always always a big deal mhm mm Oh, it's a real big deal. Big I guess some of the, deal? Er, yeah, just like uh, uh, <clears throat> like the best, you know. God, I mean, it might have been Neil Diamond. You know, my parents listened to Neil mm -hmm. Diamond records. Right. Have you ever yeah. have you ever heard uh uh. uh What's the big live record? The not the yeah, not live. Well, there's with live the picture, at the Greek. With the yeah, yeah I know what you're talking with, about. My parents had the same why the, one. Why the fuck can I remember the goddamn? Isn't it name? called Solid uh, Gold or something crazy? No, like that? no, something no. That's crazy. another live one. That's that's okay. that's uh, earlier. That's an earlier live one at the okay. at the Troubadour, Troubadour, I think actually. Oh, so um, that big, that probably bazillion record selling live Neil Diamond record that we all probably listen to as kids. Yeah, and it's a huge deal, and it's like, holy fuck, what's going on there? And and we had a a stereo. It wasn't it was a, it was a mono, I think. Yeah. Though. And it was, it was a, we had a it was mono. A, it was a, it was a that. tube, an old tube console with a record player. And I remember basically I had a CCR, Neil Diamond, and Kiss, and the Bee Gees. Dude, and Queen, uh, News to the World, right? Yeah, and you crank those records, and it, it, it was you know it was kind of compress and fucking yeah. sound like it was gonna blow up. It was the most amazing thing, beautiful. It was even the Bee Gees sounds, you know. And I had older sister. I had I was the youngest of six kids. Oh, so 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 I think that's the reason I was just exposed to it, and it was just always always a thing, you know. Yeah. Always think because because all kids are into music for some reason. Yeah, you're right. I, I'm not sure why that is, but I was, you know, particularly into it. Like it was the only thing, kind of you know, worth living for, really. Besides, uh, you know, motorcycles and BMX bikes and right fishing and things like that that you do around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You yeah, know, that, I mean, so. it's funny that those those records specifically that you mentioned that or that I got from my brother or my parents was that Neil Diamond record, Credence, two Credence records, yeah. and a Bee Gees record. No, we didn't have Queen in the house. We had, my brother uh. also had a Devo record that was wow. like, what? I just stared at that record. Yeah, yeah. Like, what in the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Chicago. Chicago is another one. Oh wow. Well, uh -huh. 
Chicago gets kind of dirty sometimes and raunchy, and I always love that. Yeah, it's like the riffage. early the transit authority or, or like the later. I don't remember pop Just... stuff. Yeah, because yeah. you got you know transit yeah. authority's got that uh, calf. What whatever the fuck his first name was, the guy, the guy that died, he was yeah, the right. fucking rocker. Yeah, yeah, that was the. That's rocker. cool, but see, there's and then and then, just, you know, coinciding with that, but sort of later was my sister. I'd go spend summers with her. She lived. She got pregnant when she was fourteen. Mm. And lived in a trailer with her boyfriend, or husband. They got married, yeah. uh, and How, she had tons. They had tons of records, and they had the 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 Radio Shack Hi Fi Build It Yourself system. You know those? Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, and then then we had Alice Cooper Billion Dollar Babies. Yeah. And we had Harry Nilsson. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, son of Schmilson. Yeah. And we had, uh, fuck what else? Wings. Hmm. Um, Jet. What's the one, Jet? Yeah. Jet. What, what the that. fuck? What's that fucking album called? Ah! I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, whatever that one. Yeah. So it was just, it was just all about that. Okay. You know? Fuck. And then, and then I guess when, so basically there was all that. And when I, all my older sisters had guitars because it was the seventies and it was cool to do that. Yeah. To be a folky. And my one sister would play uh, uh, house, of the rising sun over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. And so I inherited their guitars when they lost interest, which happened one by one, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then I just took it. I fucking straight up stole that shit. And eventually, when they didn't care anymore, they just said, whatever, keep it. So I was yeah. about nine. So I started playing music when I was about nine. Like, uh, I remember there was one guitar with one string on it and like, bang, 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 bang. What did you do? I don't know. Thinking I was making... String. I think I, would, I was, in my mind, I was Make, fucking playing, a that, playing Holly Holy live like <laughs> Neil Diamond did. Or, uh, <laughs> you know... Or uh, uh, kiss solos. My introduction to guitars is very similar to yours as a kid, and I feel like, but in my experience, was very childlike of starting to play guitar. But I was in my thirties. How embarrassing! Oh yeah, uh huh. Me well, playing on one know. string, thinking I'm writing a masterpiece. That's funny. Yeah, it's pretty at, fun. At it's kind of the funnest. Old. Yeah, it's the funnest time ever. Really, you know. <laughs> yeah, the learning. I mean, that's been, you know, more than music. My, you know, I, in my life, it's been uh, the excitement of learning something, and, and and the whole thing where you make believe that you're really killing it too. It's the <laughs> yeah. most wonderful feeling. <laughs> when you really, I really got this shit sorted, <laughs> man. Check me out. <laughs> oh. Okay, well that that uh. <clears throat> yeah. That's great. Yeah. I th think now. Now I think of you totally different. No, I don't. I think of you. It's all <laughs> matched. It's all matched. It's all adding up yeah. now. Yeah. Um. Well, one thing we I want to talk about is this new Earth Two record. It's called uh, the special low frequency version. I guess a lower lower it. frequency. The special lower frequency version. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, I gotta go shush my dog. Ever had this model? We just adopted this one. What? No. Oh. It's a wiener. Damn wiener. Oh, yeah. It looks like a part Cocker Spaniel, though, too. Like a mix. Uh, she, she's just a wiener. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not just a wiener, Frankie. You're sweet. Um, okay, back to that. You're a precious, <clears throat> unique dog. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, I want to talk about um, this Earth... This new Earth 2 release, uh, mm -hmm. special lower frequency version. Yep. Um, there's a bunch of people doing remixes and reinterpretations of Earth 2. Yeah. A, I, I would call it, it's a re-release, a reissue. It's a re-release. It's a reissue. I think it's, it's been remixed. The, the, the regular yeah. Earth 2 proper has been remixed. Right. Um, and... Uh, and I, yeah. And you um 
have a a remix or is it a a reinterpretation how would you describe it's a version it's a version okay yeah the, yeah and they just called this... it remix because okay how did this come about uh dylan just asked me to do it one day. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah we were playing no we weren't even playing it we were just i called him on the phone we were just talking and he said i got i got a few people <laughs> i want to do i'm not going to do his voice <laughs> it, was, it was always fun to try um a lot of people like to do his voice it's pretty fun yeah yeah uh he's he's just he said i got a few people that i'm asking to do uh different versions of it and i want you to do one and i was cool. like whoa wow all right <laughs> cool and, and uh I, it was it sounded great like a great idea but then when he i started getting into that that piece i guess you'd call it yeah. a piece yeah uh, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> it it is. is fucking crazy. Yeah, that's like a, a serial killer wrote that shit. <laughs> it's a question with no answer. Right. But then it's you know it's a question after a question. I don't know. Uh, it it will drive you insane trying to figure yeah. those riffs out because it's like I don't know, like does this repeat or doesn't I, I don't think it repeats. Oh, interesting. Anything. It's but then it does whatever. And then as you're learning it, it's twenty minutes, so you're like how fucking long how many more goddamn riffs do i gotta figure out this is killing it. like drive me insane it was, um, it was cooked it was cooked yeah. when you like i listened to it i listened to it for years yeah and you don't think about it but then you start pulling that shit apart it's like why this makes no sense i mean it makes sense but it's it's maybe more sinister in the in, in the fact that uh it's like Slayer riffs. Like you just took our random Slayer riffs and slowed them down, right? And just kind of chop, like like cut up, like when you know people would do cut up poetry. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was like uh, cut up Slayer riffs. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> I want to play. I I want to play it right now, the in, okay. in entirety. Okay. Well, um, mine is way different. Different. Yeah, and that. I want. I want to. Um, how would you say yours is different? Oh. I want to well, talk about it, your recording process, or your however you did your new version. But how would you say yours is different? Before we talk that, um, I come from a from a the thing me and Dylan have in common that we like we like about playing together is specifically uh, hard rock. Yeah, riffs, blues based riffs, mm -hmm. an unadulterated ripping guitar riffs and so i'm also somewhat metal literate but it's a very sure. specific thing and you gotta you have to make a deal with uh one devil or the other devil sure i believe yeah and no, i made i sense. made the deal with the blues to the blues devil to get blues notes okay and he kind of so, yeah so so this yeah. is the, the, the deal with the blues devil version okay well, I want, yeah. uh, let's play it. I want to play it. So yeah. Everyone strap okay. in. It's only a few <laughs> it's minutes. Only 20, Here we go. 20 minutes.
I took my shirt off and put it back on for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Uh, I really, I mean, I'm not just saying that's great. That sounds like bullshit. I fucking love listening to that. I really do. Oh, really? Okay, good. I really good. do. It's very enjoyable to me. I think the only caveat is that, you know, it's a long piece, so you can't fuck yeah. around. I don't think it's best to, you can put it on and not fully pay attention to it, but I think the best experience is kind of paying in paying attention to it as much as you can, you know, and enveloping yourself, if you will. Um, yeah. How'd you, how did you track this? piece of music um your new version well i i i kind of only work on uh tape machines mm -hmm. nowadays uh for purely superstitious uh um reasons of paranoia and um <laughs> religious <laughs> beliefs um i uh I started out with a, a, an oscillator box. You know, you get a, a you know, get like the, the noise kids got all these great uh, things that you yeah. can get. I just got an oscillator. I've been I've been playing with it for a couple of years, and I fucking love it. Uh, a box with three oscillators, one of them which you can control uh, three presets, whatever. Three oscillators yeah. in one box. Sure. So I got as a nice a sound as I could of that and laid that down for 20 minutes and then recorded the oscillator box onto a shitty tape deck that was warbly and fucked up. And then I took that back to the studio and, and worked the speed button on the real tape deck and played this one onto it and tried to keep it in tune. So there's like a warbly lo-fi version on there you know i just was doing drones and just fully yeah. uh making myself feel good you know <laughs> just I'm, I'm pretty i'm you know i like uh i like drone music there's, there's and, uh, new, uh, go ahead well there was a, there was like a hammond organ track and and uh feedback track um there's probably a re a reamping track on there where you play you play the recording through speakers and then mm -hmm. record it with another microphone onto another track just for the fuck of it. Yeah. Um and then and then I started then lastly I started doing the riff. And Okay. Uh, but by myself and it's 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 fucking dumb. It's dumb to record yourself. It's, it's uh, <laughs> Why unless do you you're say fucking that? Well, unless you're fucking Prince or yeah. whoever else these fucking people that can do this shit, Tom Schultz. <laughs> uh your brain, your 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 recording techno techno brain, trying to get good sounds and I got you yeah. frequencies and thinking about all this fucking shit is not gonna work with your brain that's just trying to dig up some kind of fucking magic performance. Yeah, I got you. They don't fucking work together, and it's 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 torturous to try to go back and forth. Maybe it's good for you. To go back and forth. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, no, I. <clears throat> I'm going to do two things contradictory. After yeah. you said that, I'm going to okay. not believe that, but I'm going to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, some people. Because sometimes I, mean, I got to do it. Yeah, some people can do it. You have to do it sometimes. Yeah, but yeah. But I'm I mean, just like recognizing. Oh, yeah, that's half the, half the problem. Why shit I record is not finished. It takes forever to do it. <laughs> to do it right and make it work, it takes for fucking ever. Yeah. Yeah, because you start getting in and into you start getting into it and fucking, whomp -a -dump -a -dump, you know, be bop a lula, and uh, <laughs> you're clipping your whole fucking that whole thing that you fucking did was clipping. It's fucking ain't not usable. <laughs> you're clipping or it stopped Fuck. recording. Yep, dumbass. <laughs> nice job, fuckface. Good take. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just that kind of shit. That kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so whatever. That that's how I recorded this. Because, yeah. uh, you know, truthfully, the budget was not very much. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> so... <laughs> truthfully. <laughs> not my... Oh, now my dogs are fighting. Oh. Savage, a gnashing of teeth. Ooh, blood? Okay. No. No, they just, they're pit bulls. They just scream and howl. Oh, it's because of the food. I have to move some food. 
Okay, move the food so they're not fighting over each other. <laughs> All right, cool. Cool. You know what I forgot to say is the title of the song. I'm going to do that really quick. Yeah. Place, put this back in the back there. Edit. All right. Well, let's play Teeth of the Lions Rule the Divine. Is that the right title? Yep. Nailed it. All right. Thanks. Um, all right. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. So, yeah. yeah I, I, how do you feel about it? I lo as I said, I love the recording, but how do you feel about the uh, overall new version? Well, I'm just glad it? I'm glad you made it through the whole thing. <laughs> no, I yeah, I mean, I really yeah. I mean, I well, I mean, there's a thing too, like your friends. When your friends make music, it's you're almost less likely to listen to it, which is horrible. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. I don't know why that happens, but it it happens. I, I know. Yeah. I know um, what you mean. But I, I really like it, and I I just I made it in the dead of winter when I was working in this cold, wet-ass garage. You know, like I was saying, just just scrambling, hustling, trying to get by. Yeah. Uh, working by myself, you know, sort of solitary. Um, things get kind of dark and weird sometimes when you're working by yourself in a, yeah. in a garage, and it's all dark, you know, it gets dark <laughs> yeah. at 4 o'clock, whatever. Yeah. Uh, that kind of thing. That's, that's the whole thing is like, I was just fucking, I don't know, just record this fucking thing. And it just kind of went down the way it went down. I wasn't able to overthink it or, or think about it at all, really. Cause I did yeah. just struggle and scramble just to get the fucking thing done. Yeah. So I think that's cool. I mean, it would have been fun to put some kind of ear candy on it, maybe. Maybe that would have ruined it. I don't know. But uh, uh, it's it, it it gets the feeling. Yeah, it sure <laughs> it does. <laughs> it gets the feeling. I would stand, the whole time I was thinking mm -hmm. about Alaska for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. I was just doing this, and it would, I would just okay. start thinking about the time. Uh, you've been to, well. Yeah. It's the only state I haven't been to. It's I'm so kind of scared great. to go there. If you're a, a a person who likes to do your own thing, that's that's where you go. Uh, some some one some guy explained it to me once. Like you know, Alaska is a very live and let live kind of place. <laughs> like sort of understated. Like if you fuck with me, I'll kill you. Right. <laughs> if you if you fucking tell me what to do, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> Live and let live, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, brother. <laughs> and like, there's, there's, there's all this, this area where the 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 alpine forest comes down, massive, huge hills straight into the fucking water. Mm -hmm. And that's that's. I don't know. That's cool. your image. Norway, yeah. Alaska. I, I don't know if that sounds pretentious or not, but I just kept that's kind of. I don't think so. Just like in my shitty little situation, I was like, God damn, if it's going to be cold and fucking miserable, I wish I could at least be somewhere like that. Yeah. Gotcha. Instead of in this, in this fucking town where you can barely make enough money to <laughs> pay for fucking anything. Mm -hmm. Can I swear? Is that okay? Sorry. No, no swearing. But that's okay. <laughs> um, Beep. Does that make sense? I, you know, yeah, so it makes perfect it sense. At. No, yeah. it's the blue. It's the blues, man. That's what I'm saying. Hey, you've illustrated the blues. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and so, the, the yeah. other thing, and I've uh, again, I've done, I've done a, the, I've played some. I guess you and maybe Justin from Unwound are the two people I've droned with. Most, oh yeah, uh -huh. you know, either recording or or live. Um, I kind of know what my state of mind is usually when I'm doing it, but you do it. You you've played with Earth forever, dr clearly a droney band. Mm -hmm. How? Where are you when you're droning on something for twenty minutes live? Where are you? Where Where's Brett? Where's your head? 
Uh, that's the thing. It's hard to explain to me, to me, it, it, it makes way more sense to just keep it simple like that and just keep hammering in the same thing. Cause as soon as you forget what's happening, yeah. as soon as you forget that it's maybe ridiculous to what, to most people, like this is maybe this is dumb, or or maybe the, it's pretentious, or whatever the fuck. And so you, when you get to the point where you forget about that shit, you you it's just I guess it's a process of turning your fucking stupid brain off. Yeah, turn it the fuck off, and then all kinds of things happen. You know, if you listen to a drone long enough, you'll start hearing melodies, you'll start hearing all kinds of other things that aren't there. Um. I uh, my mind is a, a fucking uh, horrible, uh, chaotic place. <laughs> um, and to me, I, I I it feels ultimately comfortable to me, and it's not always comfortable. I mean, it's like intense and kind of scary and and sort of maybe depressing, but also all all things. Yeah. Um, to me, it's like a process of being able to think one thought at a time is hard for me. So, so yeah. musically, when I don't make any decisions, it, it feels so much better. Yeah. And the thing about playing with Earth for me was that, you know, fuck, I would have, I should have done this more years ago. I mean, Caustic yeah. Resin was similar, but. I don't know. You know, yeah. like a lot of people probably feel obligated to write a song <laughs> or sing something or sure, whatever yeah. the fuck. Yeah. And I was in the bandmates that were in that band. They were pretty into pop music, you know, yeah. as opposed, you know, in in terms of uh, they like song, you know, hooks, rock, and ro rock and roll songs, rock and roll hooky stuff. Yeah. Rip. Yeah. You know, yeah, rock and roll. Yeah, uh, uh, and it, well, you know, whatever. It, it was, yeah. it was enough. So it, it, it feels good. It feels good to just finally come out of the closet and be like, "This is what I really want to do: is play, yeah, way fucking slower, to where it's yeah. not even an issue. You go slow enough, it's not even an issue how fucking fast it is anymore. To me, right? Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's like, that's kind of my my version of it too. And again, it's it's my experience with that. I one of my most memorable shows ever in my life was with you and Mike when I was oh, oh. playing Mike with Johnson. Fox Resin and, and it, yeah, Mike Johnson. And it was um at Kyber Pass. It was <laughs> Oh show. yeah. Oh and yeah. And we I we just played our last song. I don't know what happened. Uh, we just the last piece we just extended it for 20 keep on minutes. going <laughs> and it was just like the same thing over and over again and it sounded so good on the stage and yeah I just that was a great club it. man because it was all plywood so everywhere yeah you know and and over the pa was tons of headroom yeah punchy loud and all the best possible way fuck yeah, and yeah. that's where we met the the burning brides yeah, that was that's fun right. times, and that's yeah, before was... Philadelphia. That neighborhood got pretty gentrified. It was kind of yeah. slightly before that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, yeah, yeah. and in my <clears throat> version of of that, I guess it is kind of like never really thought about it, but part of a drone, aside from all the cliche stuff, which I believe in uh, the meditative yeah. parts of yeah, it, yeah, yeah, but. Yeah the singular thinking is a real fucking relief and it's yeah it actually has almost the opposite effect in a way i think yeah Hard to well imagine. yeah it just that's why that's what i was saying kind of is that after you forget what's happening and how maybe it's absurd or something yeah everything opens up and it's an ultimately rich and complex ult like yeah completely that's complex it. That's as it. much as complex as looking at the fucking sky, you know. Yeah. Or, yeah. And that it feels so good, and just especially in these times, you know, I've complained, I've you know gone on a million times about uh, digital recording is fucking horror, you know, it's fucked everything up. 
because you can, because now like you, it's like there's no fucking shortage of some fuckers doing a proper song. Uh, everything sounds perfect. They used every recording trick in the book from the Beach Boys sounds to this and that, and it's all yeah. fucking there. Congratulations, wonderful. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but it's like so. There's plenty of fucking that. So like, yeah. I feel like uh, I need. I'd like a break uh, from. Yeah. From it's, I don't know if this is true, but I thought I heard somebody say that Lamont Young, the the founder of drone he drone music, he called it minimal composition. That's what mm. they used to call it in the fifties. Yeah. Um, said that the more changes you have in a piece of music, the more it becomes noise. Oh God, that's you know, and I, I that's yeah. I feel that way, and like, you know, I played that's in Billsville for. 15, well, 10 years straight of playing in Built Spill, which is a lot of parts, a lot of songs, you know, well-crafted. That's the whole thing about that band is that it's, they're really great, uh, unique um, songs with great melodies and great parts and all that stuff. And it's, it's great, but it's just not quite, my thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I was a right. lot of years, a lot of years of doing a lot of parts and, and like just yeah. hammering it. And, and, uh, I think that was enough for me. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. So playing, so playing this kind of music is uh, the, the only thing I would, it's the only band I would want to play with right now. Right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, is that all you're doing right now? Are you just playing with earth? Are you doing any? Yeah. Uh, I got another, more more drone kind of project with this guy Jake Height from here called Scram Signal, mm-hmm. which is even less ex- uh, accessible. Accessible. <laughs> it's called you know Scram Signal. It's on a, you know uh, as long as Bandcamp's around. Looks like that might not be too long, but it's 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 all there. Oh, uh, uh, what's it's good. What's... It's fun. We do so we do shows and it's the same thing. It's just it's three hours usually mm. of <laughs> what's the instrumentation of that one I'm uh several on oscillator apps. boxes one yeah. two three three oscillator boxes uh with various effects and then and then it's you know and then halfway through we pick up i pick up the guitar he starts playing drums and uh, i got some taurus synth pedals mm-hmm. cool. and then start doing some modest uh slight chords and riffs and stuff yeah all the same key but like just start kind of doing some riffs and just hammering the same note and trying to get get somewhere have i seen you play with get, with a horn player i'm sure you have but no you've never you should play, uh, i'm gonna I'm a gonna horn a, yeah have you played with a horn much? which kind like of horn do any kind of horn a brass from the brass department no, Built to Spill did something with the trombone mm. when we were doing the George Harrison song. I'm going to get you matched up with uh, America's hottest sax player, and you're going to do a <laughs> project, okay? That's okay. what I'm getting at, kid. Well, saxophone's cool because it's all the phrasing is all the same as uh, electric guitar. Yeah. Phrasing. So there you go. That's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you've got a couple Earth concerts coming up this year, right? Yeah, the uh, the Seattle show opening for Sun mm. on the twenty second of November. I don't know where yeah. it's at. Right, and then a Los Angeles show on December first uh, in Glendale. Cool. Um, fuck, I don't know the name of the place. You That's can okay. e- easily enough to look up. Yeah, but that should be that should be cool. It's at like an art theater kind of place great and are is it do you know yet if it's going to be are you going to try to do versions of this oh yeah those those two shows are specifically earth two performances cool right yeah yeah because we took we went back we did a we did a performance of earth two in at the oblivion access festival in austin texas Mm mm-hmm and it went really well. It was really cool. cool. 
I it was super that. fun. So mm-hmm. we're going to do it again at these two shows. Cool. Yeah. Can you three guitars? Do three. Yeah, and bass. Can you? Are you able to do schedule just one more show around my schedule? Because both of those shows. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh, totally. How about the twenty eighth yeah. or something? Okay. No problem. Why don't you practice in Seattle at my house? That would be fun. Or in my studio. That's a good idea. There we, we are go. practicing in the old uh uh Sun City Girls place. Really? Yeah. Remember yeah. that group? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do remember. They used to have a group. place in Seattle, a little theater. I didn't know did I know that? Or I forgot that. Yeah, I didn't my... I didn't know they lived here there. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. That gives me pause. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let you go. And um, man, we should talk on the phone more often. It's fun yeah, talking. Yeah, that's true. I'll see yeah. you. I'll hopefully see you. Oh fuck! I don't know if I'm gonna be here. Hopefully, see you when you're in Seattle, or yeah. maybe I'll show up surprise L.A. for some reason. I'll That'd find a cool. job down there. Um, <laughs> okay. But anyways, great to see you. Congrats yeah, on you this too. tune. It's 20 minutes of <laughs> okay. gorgeousness. Good. Good. Um, okay, I'll talk to you later. Take it easy, man. All right, see you.